What's going on, y'all? It's Cop Pizzle. Wanted to make this video and clarify myself about my comments about the Giants drafting Thibodeau because. As you guys know, if you've seen the video, I was a little bit not sure of this of this selection, and I still, you know, you know, days have went by now, and I'm still not unsure about this selection. And look, I don't, I have a few questions about the player himself on the football field. You know, will he show up in certain spots? But it really doesn't have anything to do with him so much as on the field as the market in which he plays in is to me the biggest concern. I think Thibodeau would shine in a small market, you know, like a Carolina, a Tennessee, a Kansas City, uh, um, uh, a Jacksonville. I think he would excel in a market like that. But the New York market, the New Jersey area and New York area, you know, I've always – I've been a fan of the Giants as long as I can remember. I mean, just a just a little kid. I've got a I got a little girl who's knocking on the door, five years old, and it's hard to believe that looking at her, that's when I became a New York Giants fan. It's 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 really hard to envision that, but I remember being a kid and wanting to know what it what it took or what it what it meant to be a New York Giants fan. And look, this is this is often what I talk about when I when I speak about my content. You're not going to find this anywhere else. OK, uh, I understand the masses love the Thibodeau pick. And it would be easy for me to to sit here and just agree with people uh, without having concerns, uh, because and because that at the end of the day is good for business when you. When you do that, when you agree with the masses, or you know, when you 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 stream you stream LeBron James Laker games, you know that's good for the masses. But the reality is, is this isn't a this is a channel that is that gives out authentic opinions and takes and how I feel as a fan, and nothing more, nothing less. Um, but growing up, I wanted to know what it took to be a Giants fan, and I wanted to follow. Giant fans and their their lead of opinions and takes and 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 things that they said. Obviously, when I was a young man, uh, you know, I really, I guess, almost over half the time that I've been a Giants fan, the social media era really didn't exist, right? So you would see highlights, you would read stuff on the news. Um, in, in, in the newspaper or, or on the computer, whatever. Like, but you you wouldn't get so much information from other fans and content from them. You would just get what the media gives you and a, and and somewhat of an idea. But there's no question that when you'd watch games, you would hear the cheers and you'd also hear the boos. Right? Lawrence Taylor, thank God he didn't play in an area in a time when Twitter existed. Right? I mean. I worry. I would worry about Lawrence if Lawrence Taylor played today. I don't know how how that would even work at all. Um, but in my opinion, the New York market hurts their sports teams, and that's not just the fans themselves, but it also it also has something to do with the media. And I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel don't currently live in that market, but you may know what I'm talking about. But those that do. Look yourselves in the mirror for, for a second. There's no question that you guys love to have a player who's a shit talker or or loves to have a player that has character or has has, you know, brings charisma. Right. And look, Pizzle, you, you, you're, you won't find a channel on YouTube that talks about football with more character, more charisma than this channel. Right. I love that. I would love I, look, I come, I come from the time when we were balling, right? I mean, I, I loved watching Antonio Pierce and OCU Manure and Strahan. They'd get a sack and they would ball in. I love that. If Thibodeau can bring that kind of energy, absolutely I would sign up for that. Absolutely would it be fun. It would be a blast again to have that, that kind of stuff, right? 
Which, by the way, the I've heard some people talk about Strahan mentoring Thibodeau. Fucking stop. Okay? Strahan is on 10,000 different shows. I'm sure he's getting ready to do another movie. That dude ain't got time to mentor anybody. Sending a text message ain't mentoring anybody. Stop. Be smarter. But the New York area, the, that market will turn on a player so fucking fast if they don't produce. OBJ is a great example. And look, everybody knows that I felt like OBJ's time had come to an end with the Giants. So when he got traded, I didn't have any issues with that. But the reality is, is that we loved everything about OBJ when it was going well. But as soon as it didn't go well and the, we weren't winning games, there was a splinter in this fan base where some people went one way and some people went the other way. The newer Giants fan base is absolutely a fan base that has old and young fans. It has a little bit of both. And a lot of times as a fan base, we are splintered on ideas and opinions about things. You know, there's other fan bases out there like the Rams and maybe the Seahawks and, and, and you know, the Chargers probably that are very... These are young fan bases. There's not a lot of old core fan bases. It's really a young fan base. So their ideas and opinions are probably always similar to one another. But as the Giants fan base, we do have that old uh, a regime of fans that watch the 70s, that were, were, were know exactly what happened all throughout the 80s. And then, you know, there's guys like myself who, who saw the late 80s saw all the 90s, saw all the 2000s. We saw Jeremy Shockey, right, running down the sidelines without his helmet on, and we all loved it. But then when he started dropping the ball, you know, and throwing fits, we all of a sudden turned our back on him. You know, this is an organization or a fan base that, you know, they were iffy on Eli Manning for many years and ready to pull the plug. And thank God Eli got the Super Bowl when he did and beat the Patriots because, he was on his way out among many people in the fan base. And you've, I mean, these are, these are the same people that have hurt the Yankees and the Knicks and the Mets and all these other sports teams that's, that's in the area. That's, it's the reality that, that it's a market that will blow a player up in a minute. Like Jeremy Lin, for example, for the Knicks, who wasn't even really that good but it's Lynn Sanity. There's always got to be some stupid name with players like Danny Dimes. Like you, it, it's so it's it's just a, it's it's really it's a market that, in my opinion, is too high on a player and always goes too low on a player. And Thibodeau seems like the kind of guy that's gonna take getting booed super fucking personal. You know, or a guy that when you give him some stupid ass nickname, you're going to get him to be too high. I don't know. Can he stay even keel? Like at the end of the day, he's a professional. He's now a professional athlete. He needs to. But I worry about that. I worry about that because the fan base, in my opinion, has hurt so many players and so many teams in the area. I mean, you guys turn your back on Tiki Barber, for God's sakes. Tiki Barber is one of the greatest New York Giants players to ever wear a uniform, yet you hate his guts now just because of some things he said about Eli. Thank God he said those things about Eli because I think it lit a fire under Eli's ass. I mean, we even had a, a the, we even had Michael Strahan, right, who's this awesome media personality, he had an issue with the media at one time. I think it was it was that famous clip where he's got the apple and it's like, I mean, even he had issues at one time that were questioned. I mean, it's 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 just this market is a tough market. It really is, and a lot of ways you you, you have to you can't really it's 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 really tough because you want the player 
to have some character to them. But you don't want the fan base to get carried away with it. And they often do. And they often get silly. You know, they really, they really, really do. I mean, Daniel, Daniel Jones is a great example, man. Come on. You were you gave him some stupid ass nickname like Danny Dimes, and now over half of you guys want him the fuck out of here. That's reality. Why did you give him Danny Dimes' nickname if you didn't know for sure what type of player he was, and now you want him out? It doesn't seem like the 60-minute mindset to me. So, I mean, and, and, and here's the thing, too, is these guys, these athletes, they're no different than you or I. And I know that's hard to understand, like, we view them as superheroes and these super, and they're, they're no question they're super athletes, right? They're just they're different, but they're also just people like you and I. You know, they have families, they have moms and dads and brothers and sisters, and they read all that shit. They 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 hear all that, and they 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 can get on Twitter just like you can. They can get on YouTube and watch a YouTube video just like you can. I mean, they can do all those things. And the reality is, is nobody thinks that. Their feelings can't get hurt as well. They, they, I mean, and and I understand they're making a ton of money and this and that, but the fan base for the Giants is the biggest concern to me when it comes to Thibodeau. And I just hope that he's able to keep himself in check.